एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वर्टिब्रल आर्टरी इट इज द वन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल आर्टरी व्हिच सप्लाइज द ब्रेन एंड इट आल्सो सप्लाइज द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द मिनेंजिस एंड द सराउंडिंग मसल्स एंड द बोन लेट मी राइट हियर इट सप्लाइज द वन ऑफ द प्रिंसिपल ब्रांच व्हिच सप्लाइज द ब्रेन also supplies the spinal cord third it also supplies the surrounding muscles and the bones okay so let's discuss it is the branch of the subclavian artery and it is divided into the four parts divided into the four parts in the branch of branch of subclavian artery okay so it extend from the origin of the subclavian artery so let's discuss so this is the first rib this is sclenus anterior sclenus anterior muscle and this is subclavian artery so it extend from here extend from the origin of the artery a subclavian artery to the transverse process of sixth cervical vertebral transversa Trans foramen transversum and run through the foramen transversia of upper six vertebral vertebra cervical vertebra. Okay. Then. it this is foramen magnum foramen magnum okay then it turn here and stop same from this side this side another of left vertebral vertebral artery come and join before the foramen magnum and give birth to basilar artery okay this basilar artery we will discuss in next video this is basilar artery as we discuss here it is divided into the four parts so let's discuss its division so from the origin to the sixth cervical vertebra it gives no branch it supplies to nothing it is the first part from the Sixth vertebra, cervical vertebra, to the first it gives the spinal branches. Okay, spinal branches which supplies the vertebral cord. Okay. supplies the vertebral cord the spinal branches from the second part enter the vertebral cord through the intervertebral foramen and supplies the spinal cord so this is second part so from the here to the entry of the foramen magnum 
where it's joined with the left vertebral artery and forms the basilar artery it is the third part here these both gives one branch here here and here and they both join and give rise to anterior spinal artery okay and these both branches give another branch here and here and one so let me write first these name this is anterior spinal artery okay this this anterior spinal artery and this is posterior inferior cerebral artery posterior superior inferior cerebral cerebellar artery okay and posterior inferior cerebral artery give rise to another artery this is posterior spinal artery this is anterior spinal artery and the branch of posterior inferior cerebral artery gives the posterior spinal artery posterior spinal artery anterior spinal artery and the uh, right and left vertebral artery joins to give rise to the basilar artery okay this region also give rise to the um, meninges branches meningeal branches mandibular um, medullary branches and the in medullary branches okay so let me write here which the third part first it gives the anterior spinal artery okay second it gives the posterior inferior cerebellar artery third it gives the posterior spinal artery okay fourth it also gives the meningeal branches and medullary arteries okay now where is the fourth region above this fourth part to the lower border of the pons this whole region is fourth part to the lower border of pons so this is the quick review of the vertebral artery hope you guys understand if you guys have any doubt please comment in the comment section below thank you